Hey guys, and welcome to the RevitKid.com. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at four different ways to create the same wall. And what I mean by that is you have the same wall construction and there are four different ways to get to it. Um, what I don't want to get into is which way is the correct way because they're all the correct way. Um, if you go back to the post, you realize I was talking, uh, I was pointing out a couple other posts by some other bloggers where they're saying there are different ways to skin a cat. Uh, David Light said that, and it's true. Um, so what I thought would be interesting is to answer a question that uh, a buddy of mine had by sort of um, spinning off of that concept and showing that there are multiple ways to do it, and it really matters, uh, or it really makes a difference uh, as to which way based on what you're trying to get out of the project or downstream or um, really just your workflow even. Um, so what I have here if I zoom out is I have four wall constructions and you can see that they're pretty simple there's a, a brick that's wrapping around a EFIS or stucco or whatever you want to call it. It's actually a drywall material in this for now but just because I needed to use a material that was already there. And I just want to show you that there's different ways to get it. And the four ways I'm going to show are on the left here you could see this is made up of four different walls so we've basically got a brick wall here another brick wall down here a stucco ephus whatever you want to call it wall here and then another brick wall right here and I'll show you an elevation as well that um, those are based off of levels and um, you could see if I select here these are all different walls and they're on their levels and they're doing their thing and that's a perfectly fine way of doing it and you can see it works out fine and I don't think I need to show how to do that because that's pretty simple. The other way is a brick wall that has an edited profile and a stucco wall inside. Um, let's say the brick wall kept con continuing around. I mean, we don't know what it go what happens afterwards. But you can see here this works the same as well. And for those of you who may not know how to do that, I'll just recreate it really quickly. So if I go back to the elevation, I'm actually going to move this wall over using the move command just to get it out of the way. Sorry about that. Let's disjoin. Move this over. Okay, so we start with these with this simple brick wall. If I reset the profile, so just draw a brick wall. And what I did here is I just select the wall and say Edit Profile. And within that profile now, I'm going to go back to my elevation. I can draw whatever shape I want. So let's just say this is it here and you can see the magenta lines there. Now what we have to do is you have to use the split command which is SL for the keyboard shortcut or the little button up here split and then trim it TR or up here it's uh, this little button and you can trim this out and now that's the shape you get if I select that you can see there that's the shape if I go in 3D there's the shape. Now I just click finish and my wall has been cut and I can actually move this wall now into place I guess I uh, drew the profile off a little there, but that's okay. You get the idea. I'll just pull this back. So now you can see we created that very quickly, and the method isn't too different from what we did here, except for the fact that you have one wall there. Um, the third method is another interesting one, and this is based on uh, the introduction of parts. And what you can do is you can create a part out of, or uh, create parts out of the wall, and then you can actually split the parts and change their material. So I'm going to recreate that in front of it for you, just so you you can understand how I did it. So if I create in floor plan now, I'm just going to create a brick wall. So let me go back to elevation or uh, 3D, sorry. So see, I just created this brick wall in front of it. Now, if you're in Revit 2013 or 2014, you have the ability to create parts, and what you can do is you can select this wall and say convert to parts, which is up on top here, or create parts, sorry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that, and you'll see automatically it's going to pop up and it's going to show the parts. Now what you're able to do is you're able to select all these layers of the wall, and you could do things with them. You could push and pull them, uh, edit them, split them, delete them, or de demo them, I think. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to select this this brick facade. So you can see I'm, I'm just selecting the brick, and I'm going to say divide parts. Now once I say divide parts, I have options. I can start selecting things like levels, grids, whatever, or I can actually sketch it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch it. And you can see here, if I go to sketch, it's looking back here. It's looking back at the other wall. And the reason for it is when you edit the edit a part, the sketch of a part, you can do it in multiple work planes. 
So I want to make sure I'm on this face, the face of this brick as the work plane. So I'm going to select set work plane. This dialog is going to come up and it's going to say pick plane uh, or a name or pick a line. I'm going to use pick plane and I'm going to select the front of this brick. So if I zoom in just so you can see it a little better, I'm going to select right here. And now you can see that dotted line is showing where my work plane is. Now I'm drawing on the front of that brick. Now I'm going to do this in elevation. Uh, because it's just a little bit easier for you guys to see. So I'll go to my south elevation and I'm going to draw that box that we created where that wall is going to go. So you can see here, it's a little difficult to tell actually, but you might be able to see that magenta line. I'm just drawing a box. I'll go back to 3D so you can really see it. There's the box. <clears throat> and now if I click finish and finish again, you're going to see I have the ability to select this part of the brick and this part of the brick separately. And what we can do with that is we can select this part of the brick, we can scroll over on our properties, uncheck material by original, and change the material to our gypsum board or EFIS or stucco or whatever you want to call it. And now I'm going to click off of that. So now what you see is we have this separate material, it's one wall, and the nice thing about that is it will push and pull with the wall because it's a part still. So you can see there, I pushed the wall and it, and it moved. The only downfall of that one is that uh, you need to make sure show parts is on in your view. So let me delete those and move on to the last one. Oops, delete the parts. Let's delete the walls. Okay. And you can see the windows will cut it and, and push and pull it. Also, one more thing I want to add to the parts that's really nice is if you select this part, and let's say this is thinner or thicker than the brick, um, if you go to show shape handles and select it, click apply, you can actually push and pull, if you see where my mouse is, you can actually push and pull the part in and out, which is kind of cool. If you have something thicker or thinner, you can mess with it, and it's all sort of staying within the same wall. Again, I'm not going to go fully into the benefits and the pros and cons of each of these, but I just want to show you the different ways to get to this, to this result. Last but not least, the almighty stacked wall. Um, this also has pros and cons. I won't get into those too much, but um, what this is is basically you have your one brick wall and this is a stack wall and I won't get too far into what a stacked wall is I don't want to have a big sermon on stacked walls but if I go to edit type you most likely have seen these in your project because the default template has them if I pull down there's there's three basic walls there's basic wall curtain wall and stacked wall or system family I should say if you click stacked wall there's gonna be multiple ones I made one that's called test wall here and if I go to edit all it is is it's stacking three wall types that's all a stacked wall does. Um, I think it works pretty well. There's also some pros and cons to that, which we don't have to get into. We can discuss it maybe in the comments later. But what I did there is you can see I have my brick on CMU, my stucco on CMU, and my brick on CMU. And I just have those at the correct heights, and now I've got a stacked wall that moves and pushes and pulls. So that's really how you do it. That's how you create. There's actually probably multiple other ways to do this, but I just wanted to show you the four ways that I could think of at the top of my head of how to create a wall system like this and I hope we can discuss in comments other ways or pros and cons of each so thanks guys and I'll talk to you later